Ah, yes, the castle is becoming visible again. So that's good. Maybe one day we can make a video about it. Good morning, comrades. Welcome, everyone. In case you're new to this channel and you want to find out what it takes to race the Nürburgring, stay tuned because today I will be driving my first RCN race. And if you like all things Nürburgring, you might want to subscribe. So what are we doing today? We are starting at RCN, which is the first step to become a real professional endurance race car driver at the Nürburgring because you need to finish three RCN races after that you move on to VLN race which is like dream and aspiration of many people before they can start driving the 24 hour race which is like even a bigger dream and challenge but today we're going to talk about RCN I'm very excited and although I've been living for five years at the Nürburgring I have still quite some questions because the format of the series is not really what you would expect. It's a combination of driving fast, sprint laps, and combination of consistency. So you need to set a reference time, and then a couple of sprint laps, and after that you need to set the same time as you set in your, in your reference lap. So, a bit complicated. Uh, that's a very nice BMW. Speaking of BMW, the car I'll be racing today is BMW M240i by MKR Engineering. So I'm walking right now to the paddock where the car is getting its technical checkups, going through scrutineering, where I'm going to also meet my team chef, Matthias, and hopefully he will be able to tell you more about the racing series, what we're going to do today, and what it will take you to come and race with us as well. I am very, very excited after spending five years at the Nürburgring, first time racing. Hmm, who knows? Maybe one day we'll move on to more serious cars. Who knows? Who knows? Sky is the limit, huh? Well, let's go to the paddock. And here we are. This is the line for scrutineering. And I am just in time because here is our race car. Like I told you, M240i with the unmistakable purple wrap. Later on in the season, we uh, will probably change the color because th this is actually the second car. Our actual M240i is not ready currently, but for that, stay tuned for future vlogs. Good morning, Matthias. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, what is all of this? <laughs> That's the special RCN stuff. Okay. So that tells the driver what he has to do. So here we have first lap. It's the reference lap, mm -hmm. so they send you out, um, you set the reference time. That's why you have a stopwatch? Yep, yeah, right. Um, then you have two sprint laps, so go as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. One more reference lap. So again, the same time as in the first lap? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Within 10 time. seconds, right? So 10, yeah. 10 seconds plus or 10 yeah. seconds minus, or is it 5-5? Five, five? No, it's 10 seconds plus or minus. Okay, good. Oh. Then again, two sprint laps, then you have the fuel in lap, so you do one out lap into mm -hmm. the pits. Then comes the pit stop, fuel out for the second driver. So at the pit stop we change the drivers and fuel the car. Mm -hmm. Then the second driver, for today it's you. You have the, to set the reference time again. Yeah. So the time the driver before set. And then you are the lucky guy, you have only sprint laps till the end and then there's the outlet. Okay, then we well, have... seems pretty easy. Uh, we have communication system in the car, right? So you will be yeah. telling me yeah. what to do in case I forget to tear off my, uh, yeah. my coupon, so to say. <laughs> Press the stopwatch, I will do it in the pits. Okay. And we get it. Good teamwork, that's what I like. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the car. So it's an M240i, so it's 340, yeah. I believe. 340 horsepower. So before it was an M235. Mm -hmm. They got the Evo package for this year. Now we have uh, seven horsepower more than last year. Yep. Um, yeah, the, the headlights and the rear lights are different, but the car itself is the same. So you can't even buy an M240, uh, it's always an M235. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You probably think by now racing against uh, AMG GT4 with just a 240 or against a Clio is kind of unfair. But if you are not new into the world of racing, you probably already guessed there are multiple classes. Important question. Am I will be racing against the AMG GT4 and a Clio? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> So better be fast. <laughs> yeah. So we have many different classes here in RCM. Mm -hmm. So we run the Cup class. It's only the BMW Cup cars. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you have Cup Porsche, you have GT4 cars. You have a lot of these V cars. So classes V4 and V5. 
So basically, a long story short, you have classes which are just car brand only. So for example, Clio Cup, for example, just M240, and then based on displacement and based on the year, I think as well. So historical classes. So it's a bit complicated for today's video. Uh, you can find out on RCN website if you, if you want to see if your race car fits the particular class. But uh, yeah, it's a big variety of challengers. Very excited. Now, the question is, what does it take to drive RCN? I mean, what do you need to do? Uh, it just takes the national A license. That's for the for German uh, citizens. Yeah, right. uh, if you're international, like for outside Germany, it's FIA International D uh, or C. Yeah, International D. D, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. So you don't need any launch rifle permit or something. Mm -hmm. So because RCN is to get the permit for the VLM. Yeah, so but very high demands. So, that's plus 50 horsepower, the sticker, yeah, right? Yeah. Turbo. Yeah. Great. It's a boost on Döninger Höhe. Nice. All good? Passed? Per perfect. So now that the car has passed the scrutineering test, it's being parked in the paddock where we can see also a lot of other cars. Now we're waiting until the driver briefing starts and then eventually the actual race. Uh, we can actually see a couple of cars driving on the track because GLP, another racing series, is taking place. Yeah, there you see one. So I hope they will dry up the track for us because for the rest there is no rain predicted, but it was raining and foggy overnight and cold and yeah, it's a bit sketchy. I mean, I like wet race, but yeah, dry is still a bit better, especially when you drive the car for the very first time because I haven't driven it before and I'm just gonna go jump into it and drive it. So I hope it goes well. But before of that, Good time. Keine Kinder, keine Hunde und so was in der Boxengasse. Nur Leute mit entsprechenden Tickets, auch keine Gäste, die können. Well, that looks like a dog to me. Uh, but anyhow, uh, driver briefing done. So now we're ready to start up our engines and drive on. These are our competitors. So all in the same class, the 240Is. My co-driver, or actually my teammate, David Dehan, he is going to well to do the first seven or eight laps. And after that, we do the driver change. So, yeah, lots of luck and lots of fun, most importantly. Wonderful. And here we are at BMW M Test Center again. Wait, we've done this before because I went home to change my clothes and I realized how lucky I am to be living in Nürburgring so I can basically walk home, have some lunch, change clothes, and go race. Hmm. All right. Welcome to the paddock. Let's wait for our car and hop in. Good news is that our team is currently P1. So there's a lot of pressure on me that I need to maintain that result. Let's see.
awesome. <laughs> and there we have it. The car has finished the race. We have finished the race. We don't know what's, uh, what it's actually going to be because uh, the actual results will be announced in half an hour. And after that, well, we will know what has happened. But so far, massive thanks to Matthias for an amazing car. Because I, at, at no point I was like, well, the setup is shit. Well, the tires are shit. The car is shit. He is shit. <laughs> it was all good. So thank you very much. I'm awesome. Okay. Well, the question is, if people want to do it after what they saw right now, what I was doing, uh, what's the average price for the RCN run? Okay. So the price per drive is 2,800. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is included. So insurance is included, tires, fuel, entry fee, everything. Yeah. So you come, arrive and drive and just right. get in the car for 2,800. Insurance is included, but the, there is a mandatory access. This means that if you crush it, the first 8,000 euro is for you. That's basically what everyone does. And since the car is worth like what, 100K or more, What's the uh, yeah right. five, yeah 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 but still yeah so eight thousand is, is a very decent but you can you could have seen it's uh, it's actually a very easy car to drive I'm very excited I'm very excited to find out what's gonna happen Park for me is like with every other racing series this means that the cars are being parked here after the race so in case someone wants to protest like hey this guy was definitely way too fast on the street he must have been running a high boost or yeah you know whatever whatever complaint there is they're gonna check if the cars are still the same that there was no um, no messing around yeah then uh, it's all fine so they're here now after that we'll pick them up actually after the award ceremony so let's wait and see what we've done and here we are walking past the m test center again it becomes almost an advertisement for bmw which is not but holy shit it was amazing it was so awesome now we're still waiting for the results and i have no idea what's it going to be but at this point, I honestly also don't really care because the most important thing for me was A, cross the line and keep the car in one piece, B, cross the line and make the, the participation count so I can apply for my VLN permit, which has happened. And now, if we get a nice award with that, that will be amazing. Most importantly, I had fun. I had so much fun that, I don't know, it's uh, like when Matthias said it was 2,800 euros, but every single euro is worth it like and, and of course if you have your own car already and you want to participate the then obviously bring your own car and then you just need to pay the participation fee and some insurance and some barrier uh, insurance as well <sighs> but wow 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 Ooh, there we go there we go first one first one yeah <laughs> Ah, perfect! Yes! Good job! There we have it, P1 in class. I don't know how much overall, to be honest, but uh, everyone told us that we were pretty high up as well. Such a great car, such a great day, such a great race. First time racing in the Nürburgring and P1. It is, it is absolutely awesome. So I guess I want to say massive thank you to you guys for watching and cheering for me. I know a lot of you found it as exciting as I did. Then massive thanks to MKR Engineering for a great car, great team, made it completely unforgettable. Then who else we have? Ice Cold Moritz, of course, uh, my dear mentor and coach who told me that I need to stay ice cold no matter what. And it helped, it really helped. So now I know his secret. We all knew his secret anyhow. Then Ava from Race for 24 for providing me with amazing clothes. They kept me cool and focused. Team Apex for uh, allowing me to have a day off. And Robert in particular as well. And uh, everyone else. Yeah, I I'm most certainly forgot people such as like Luigi who uh, gave me my racing license uh, that I passed last year already for like I don't know how many it's time but anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed today's video again if you want to come and drive at the Nürburgring let us know if you want to come and race let us know it's uh, yeah we'll help you out because this is something you should do absolutely a dream I'm very much looking forward to see where this is going to take me and you guys as well because I'll be taking you along on my journey but let's hope this is first of many more to follow yeah
Congratulations, Thank you. We're winning the race. Hey. And a good race. And a good race. Everything. Good send. Still not as fast as the R33 GTR though. Maybe next time. What's better than P1? Asparagus season. Nice. Asparagus soup. Everyone has one. Except for Tom. Tom, why? I'm, I missed the memo. Oh. He's allergic. I have soup. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah. You can make your food look at you. Can it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. Oh. <laughs> can I poke your eye? No. That's the best way to end the day. Good teamwork. Team? <laughs> there's no team and I'm holding the phone. <laughs> well, I'm filming. There's no I in team, but there's a me. <laughs> <laughs>